Hey everyone, it's Jesse. I'm gonna create this video right now about using uh, Google Hangouts Meet, okay? I am logged into my Stanford Public Schools account, so that's good. Now, there are a couple ways to get to um, Hangouts Meet. One way, and I'll show you real quick, is to go up here, go to your Google Apps as long as you're logged in, and you can just click on the Meet. Okay, it's right here. It's all nice, nicely placed there for you. So click on that. When I go to the, um, when I click on that and I go to the meet, okay, it says join or start a meeting. All right, I'm gonna click on that. Now you can give your meeting a nickname um, and people will be able to enter this nickname in. Or you can just, as it says, you can leave it blank. I'm just gonna click on continue. All right, now once you do that, once again, you're in your um, you're in your Stanford Public Schools uh, .org account. Okay, it also you can see here the meeting is ready. Um, it gives you a link. It gives you a dial-in number and a pin. And I'm actually just going to click on Join Now. This was just the the, the quick way to get into the meet right now. I'm going to show you the other um, way, other option in a second. You can click on this, you can click on copy joining info. Now obviously you haven't shared this out um, in any way and you'd probably put the, the joining info up on uh, Google Classroom um, in the stream. Okay. Now you can click on copy joining info and you can place that somewhere like I said in Google Classroom. I'm actually going to um, show you something real quick okay let's hide those tools if you ever need to get to the to the details the meeting details again it's down here um in the meeting details okay copy that attachments you put some attachments in there blah blah this is where you are you can turn off the microphone you can mute yourself you can hang up leave the call um turn off the camera kids do that all the time i've been noticing and you also have some options to turn on the captions, present now, um, or right here, if you notice here on this little um, three dots here, some people call it the snowman, you can click on that and it'll give you more options. Now you can record the meeting. I'm actually going to do that uh, in a second. Um, but wait, how are you recording the meeting right now? I'm actually using Screencastify right now to make this video, but I'm going to hop out of Screencastify and I'm actually going to record the meeting. You can change the layout. You can go to full screen, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So let me hop out of there. I just wanted to do this real quick in Screencastify. Okay. I'm going to do that. Stop this video. Boom. Okay. So this is an option for you if you do not want to um, use Screencastify, because I, once again, I pay for Screencastify, okay, it's up here. Um, I'm actually recording this section of the video right now with this uh, Hangouts Me app, okay? So once again, you're in here now and you are um, you're choosing what you want to record, okay? So I'm recording up here with Hangouts Meet, just with this app, and I can present my screen. So I'm actually going to present my entire screen and to give you an option as to how to do that, I'm gonna click on Share, okay? Now I can go to um, anywhere in here. I'm actually going to go to um, my Google Classroom in my Stanford Public Schools, see how it defaulted. I'm actually not gonna let it trick me. Here we go, Google Classroom. So once again, I am recording this, recording this with the Hangouts Meet um, app directly with that. Okay, which is pretty neat because you could just actually, we can record and you can record for free. Uh, video quality is slightly lower, but eh, it's okay. So you get in here and um, like I said, you once you click on present, 
Okay, you record up here and then you click on you present down here and you can um, get out of that uh, one meet screen and present your whole screen here. So I open up Google Classroom. Um, then, you know, obviously you can open up your Google Drive as well. You probably want to open up your Google Drive um, so that you can um, open up a doc or whatever it is that you want to record uh, your screen doing, okay? You might ask, where does Google Meet uh, drop the videos? Well, it's right here. They actually make a video. Um, and they actually make a folder, sorry, in your Google Drive. Okay, and this is your Stanford Public Schools Google Drive. They actually drop the videos right in here. Okay, um, which is nice. I've actually already made a video like this. Screencastify workaround, because that's what I'm calling this. Um, being able to record with Hangouts Meet instead of having to pay for a different app. Hangouts Meet is uh, free with your Google for Education account okay so you get in here you can um i don't know it's recording my whole screen so you can do whatever you want um and use an app and uh, show your students this video okay so i'm gonna right now i'm gonna click on stop presenting and stop recording okay so for the third part of this video i'm back using screencastify to record um, I showed you in the first part how we can just uh, click on the Hangouts Meet right here and start the session this way. Um, as long as we're logged into our Stanford Public Schools account, just click there and obviously it'll come up. And you can join a meeting and you can give it a nickname, blah, blah, blah. And you just hit continue and it just jumps you in there and it gives you, <clears throat> it, hopefully, second it'll give you the meeting information all right you can go join now and you get all this information here okay and I'm gonna return to my home screen here now if I wanted to start a meeting a different way okay let's go back to Google here not the correct account. <coughs> if I wanted to join a meeting or create a meeting a different way, I could go to my Google Calendar. All right, this is kind of nice because this way you can um, create a meeting and you can actually integrate it with Classroom a little nicer. Okay, you can actually see this is our schedule here. And you can see my uh, meeting that I have for my responsibility um, class list, because once again, I'm a special ed teacher, Jesse, Glowed, West Hill. Um, and I also have a, a math center weekly meeting as well. All right, and you see how it, um, once you create the meet, it puts it all in here nicely and you can just copy it right from Google Calendar. Okay, but how do I do that? All right, so let's do that. Let's go down here. Oh, it's getting kind of late. Let's put it down here in this other, uh, in Tuesday, which is tomorrow. Um, okay, we can add a title on all, all that stuff, but I'm going to create this calendar event. Okay, once again, I just click here, click in a spot. to create a Google calendar event. I'm going to click on more options. And I'm just going to type this as example. Um, Hangouts meet session, okay. And obviously, if you've been to Google Calendar before, you can, you know, give it a title for the event and what time. If it wants to repeat, blah blah. But here's where, right here, here's where you would add conferencing, and the conferencing that um, Google Calendar uses is Hangouts Meet. So just click on that and click on Hangouts Meet, okay? And then you'll see it generates a meeting um, link automatically, meeting ID, you can 
customize it if you want. Um, and it also generates that phone number that you saw in the first part of the video, okay? So I'm gonna click on save and, oh, no, I'm not gonna click on save. Hold on for just a second. So tools are always in my way. Um, so those that's your meeting information up there, but I want to customize this a little bit. I wanna make it black because I like the graphite color. And this is what I was talking about before. You can then put it in the Google Calendar for your class, okay? So say I wanted to put this in my 3D design and fabrication class, I put that there, and it automatically integrate in my Google Classroom um, for that class or for those classes that I picked. I'm gonna click on save, okay? And once again, now I've created that for tomorrow, Tuesday from four to 5 p.m. Um, if I click on it again, what's nice about it, in my opinion, is you get all this information and you can see it again and you can actually copy this um to your just copy it to your clip uh, clipboard and it's a link and now you can go to google classroom um and post it post that that meeting right in your google classroom so let me scroll down to my 3d design and fabrication class and oh, let's get rid of that. And puzzle. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> that is not an assignment for them. Um, anyway, I'll put it in here. I'm going to share this now. Um, hi, here is a meet meeting. A lot you can put other stuff in there, um, and you just get the link. You can click on post, okay, and you'll see that that link comes up now, now nicely. Obviously, obviously, you would want to um, maybe put a little bit more information in there than that, okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> delete this. Uh, you probably want to put a little bit more information than that. Let me um, show you in my responsibility class. I just write, hello, everyone. We'll be, we will begin to hold weekly meetings for this class, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> and this is when they are. And obviously in Google Classroom as well, you can email everybody that's in your class as well. Okay. So um, that is that. Once again, you can create your meet sessions right in Google Classroom. Just you know, create a new event, and it'll generate a code right in there, and you can integrate it with um, uh, Calendar integrates it with Google Classroom. Um, stuff like that comes up pretty nicely. Thank you very much once again.